Hi everyone, in this PowerPoint tip screencast I'm going to show you how to crop an image to a shape. Uh, most images that you get from a uh, image website or even ones that you take yourself um, usually come out in, in a rectangular or square type shape um, but sometimes you might want to mix it up in your PowerPoint or even your e-learning projects and you might want to have the image cropped to a, a shape. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So the first thing you need to do is click on the shape uh, on the picture to select it and you'll see we get a formatting tab appears at the top on the ribbon. Click on the format tab and we want to go to the cropping area. Now by default if I click on crop uh, I will get these little black bars appear around my image and I, if I drag them in I'm effectively cropping out this part of the image and I'm left with the bit that's still coloured. And that might be fine, you might want to crop uh, to a particular, like to, to a, a rectangle or, or even a square. But in PowerPoint, if I click on this little drop down arrow below, I can actually crop the picture to any one of these shapes. Now, the shape that you choose to crop it to, sometimes it uh, depends on the type of image that you have. Some shapes work better than others. But for the, what I would like to do is, is crop this image to and make it into a circular image. And to do that effectively, what I would normally do is I would crop the image first in the rectangular form. So I'm going to select the image crop and I actually want to make it as close to a square as I possibly can. So I'll bring it in from the sides and then I'll release my left mouse. And if I look at the top here, that's pretty good. Um, it doesn't have to be exact, but that's pretty close. So I, I roughly have a square. And if I click off the image, I'm left with just the square looking image. If I select the image now and go back to crop and crop to a shape, and I choose circle, my image has now been cropped to a circular shape. Um, and what I would do now is uh, I could use that in my PowerPoint, um, combine a few of them on a page, uh, or I could right click and save as picture and save the image to my picture library and I could actually import it into my storyline projects and I could use it in there. So that's it from me, a quick little crop to shape tip um, which is really good for using um, for your PowerPoint presentations but certainly also to uh, add some variety to your um, uh, images that you use in your storyline projects. Uh, see you next time.